Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to TechSmart for another episode of Wishbusters. If you guys have ever been outside, it's a new thing to me, trust me. Or you've seen the episode of South Park with the electric scooters, or you've seen them on the street, doesn't matter. In this episode, it's scooting time. So yeah guys, if you're new to Wishbusters, this is the show where we buy and try items here on Wish. We're going for all the electric scooters on Wish. Maybe not all the electric scooters. You guys have probably seen Bird, you've probably seen Lime on the street. Well, actually, Bird is now selling their own scooter known as the Bird One for $1,300. It comes with an 18 mile an hour top speed and up to 30 miles of range. And then of course, you know boosted boards. They're like, hold up, we can't let you do it. As you guys know, the eboard electric longboard company that I love, I have a boosted board, I've been a day one supporter. They actually dropped the boosted rev, which is their electric scooter for $1,600. And that comes with a top range of up to 22 miles and then a top speed of up to 24 miles an hour. And all that with the boosted rev or the bird one is really dependent on your weight and how fast you're going. But you guys can tell it's starting to get serious. These scooters are expensive. So like always, we're jumping on Wish to see if we can save a buck, see if we can kind of hack the scooter system. So kicking this off, let's just see what we get when we search electric scooter. So we're on it now and we see some spicy stuff. Right off the bat, I see what looks like the Xiaomi Mi electric scooter. Definitely you've seen those if you've ridden a bird. This is going for $438. Don't really think we have much of a choice because the Bird One is way better and $1,300. We're just trying to save some money here. But for $438, you guys know the rules. We gotta go to the reviews. Shantae, we buy it with her $394. Not a single review. It looks pretty much like a bird, if not exactly a bird. Just no bird stickers. Basically the Xiaomi M365 if you wanna get technical. But for $438, I think we just have to start it off with a win here. We're gonna hit buy. We're hitting it hard and heavy. The Limes, they're not with the Xiaomi Mi electric scooter. They actually have their own proprietary scooter. I mean, it kind of looks like this, just it's not lime green. Any Anything to give it away. We got two reviews, eight inch professional portable electric scooter power sole. Foldable electric skateboard steering wheel scooter black. Two reviews, looks good, $376. We basically just gotta jump right in and get these scooters, and there's a bell. And we got the light on there too. Buy with Jammy for 338 bucks. It's actually kind of a big savings when you think about it. Most stuff on Wish is like a few dollars. When you're buying stuff in the hundreds of dollars, it adds up. All right, Steven says, awesome. Just as described, quick delivery. All right, here we go. Wait, 352, I'm gonna save the cash if I can. Three reviews, we're looking good. It looks to be the same exact scooter that is power sole foldable electric skateboard. I love when it says three reviews and you can't read a single review. Except for Jose Antonio Cordova Ferreira. Mi gusto mucho, muy bonito gracias wish. Firing up Google Translate here. Learning more than just about products and prices. I liked it very much. Very nice, gracias wish. Hey, if Jose likes it, I think that's good enough for me. Any deals if I buy it with anyone? 316 if I get it with Nicholas. How many colors can I get? All right, just black. All right, two scooters in the car. Let's see what else we can get. Just by typing e-scooter. What a throwback. A Razor PowerCore E100 electric hub motor kids toy motorized kick scooter, purple. 11 reviews, four out of five stars. Got here super fast. Robert. There's 11 reviews, and that was from four months ago. Brandon says, everything looks good. Be careful on letting your kid do their first start. It's one heck of a kick. I'm excited. If they're not ready for it. Looks great, seems fast. The final test is time. All right, we're buying it. $140, we got the scooters. I wanna get one more scooter before we jump into accessories and really trick this setup out, because would it really be a wish busters if we didn't protect ourselves with the craziest stuff on Wish? No, it wouldn't. Ooh, we got a wheel. It's almost like a 12 inch mini e-bike, 30 kilometers an hour, electric bicycle, foldable electric cycling. No reviews, not happening for me. Let's, let's get something a little different that we need, but not a scooter, it's some gloves. So these are touchscreen motorcycle gloves, motorbike racing, winter bicycle cycling scooter. And you can still use your phone, so for $4, I'd say I got some pretty meaty palms here. XLs, eh, sure. Digging through the pictures, 
Looks like he's using it on an iPhone. Wait, that is not an iPhone. It's a, a Mi Note. You let me know in the comments if you know what phone this is. Select color? Red? All right, $6? What are the reviews like? Great item, just as described from Chris 47 minutes ago. Chris must have known we needed a trusted friend. Ro Ro Rochio, Ro Rocchio. Looks so nice and the right? Gotta love, gotta love it, Ev, when it looks so nice and the right. Craig from 11 days ago, gloves fit nicely and feel durable. As advertised, you can use your phone with them on. This is a great product. False. It's the guy's name, Ev. It wasn't a true or false, didn't ask you a question. Though. One glove had a small tear at the Velcro, but otherwise, I am most satisfied. Perfect fitment. Perfect fitment? We're making up words, I like this false guy already. He's like me. I'd recommend. All right, I think I've seen enough. Six dollars, we're getting the touchscreen gloves. Let's go scooter jacket. Maybe I could find a nice leather piece, dude. We got a, we got a motorcycle jacket. I love it. YL motorcycle armor suit racing protective back jacket motorcycle back protector. You tell me this if you guys are a biker, buy one of these nice jackets on Wish. Hopefully you don't fall off your bike, but if you do and you're wearing it, let me know in the reviews, baby. Did it save your life? There's six reviews, only one way to find out. Exactly as described, very good quality from Catherine. She's a biker, she's going hard on her moped. I don't know, I'm just not sold. Kawasaki? Dang. Oh, this is it. So when we're riding our electric scooters, we want to be riding at night and we don't want to get hit. We got a men's summer motorcycle jacket, motocross racing, reflective safety, protective gear, fluorescent green. 813 reviews, I trust this. I trust this more than the biker jacket. Pictures, they look good. Some nice padding, we'll put that to the test. I'm sure I'm gonna fall off the electric scooter. Okay, we all know I'm gonna fall off the electric scooter. What am I even trying to say to you guys? Darius, this is a perfect fit, awesome. Kevin J from 14 months ago, looks great, fit great. Peter, 18 months ago, I good looking jacket will suit hot days, great value for the money. Sounds pretty good. Okay, we're not getting the triple XL. We'll get the double XL in green, $46. Throw it in the cart, what do we got to lose? We need a helmet, right? Our brains are gonna fall out of our head. That's happened once before. If you missed a boosted board video, Right up there in the eye card. Probably should have been wearing a brain bucket. Oh yeah. Nice little baseball cap, bike helmet. I mean, the mannequin looks real happy. $14, 54 reviews. So cute, way better than I was expecting. Carmen, very nice and fits well. Exactly what I asked for, for better than the picture. Very, very happy I should have got the pair. So you just get to pick one? Give me the pink. You never really know if the right color does show up. We got how many things in the card? We're at a thousand dollars. All right, six things in. Let's find a reflector for the helmet. Helmet reflector. This looks good. Universal eight LED motorcycle 2.4 G wireless helmet, brake turn signal, warning racer lights lamps. Nothing when a racer lights lamps, am I right? 23 reviews. I put it on and it worked great from Prentice. Cyanide, what a name. Arrived early, have not wired in yet. How does this have four and a half stars when you got cyanide over here killing the vibe and telling us he hasn't even tried it yet? You know we don't like that on Wishbuster. If you're not gonna try it, don't leave a review. It's not helpful. I will edit my comment once I get it wired in and see how it works. Cyanide wrote that 21 months ago. I don't know if there's some irony going on here, but for $14, I'm in. We got seven things in the cart. I wanna get one more scooter before we just jump into this. Just type in cold scooter now, see what we can get. Dude, is, is that a handlebar for your Segway? Definitely, drop a like on this video if you guys want a part two to the rideables. There's so much more on Wish. What else is there? Ba-boom, we found it. $37, the cheapest scooter on this list. Foldable aluminum kids slash adult kick scooter. We got a few different colors here. Red, blue, got some measurements to really prove the math out. Green, basically got your lime scooter. We're gonna land the plane here, 110 reviews, very nice, arrived much earlier, thank you, from Hassan, 13 months ago. SJ, present for my daughter's birthday, which has not happened yet. However, it looks sturdy and my hubby was playing around on it, so it must be good. David, haven't used it yet, but looks very decent and solid for the price. Eight months ago, David wrote that, I'm in, I wanna get it in 
well, the only color, white. I was a little triggered earlier seeing the saddle on the scooter. Kinda wanna be a horse and go back to the old town. $41 for a scooter seat. It fits on the Xiaomi Mi Electric Scooter M365, and it's new, and it's adjustable, and it's foldable. The whole dang thing is foldable. Your scooter is, the seat is. For $41, if I buy it with Madonna, for $36? At this point, we're going into biker mode, even though we're on a scooter, maybe for a future episode with an e-bike, I wanna get some sweet biker goggles. We're just gonna get a classy pair of glasses cause we're already at $1,100, and it's been a minute since we spent this much on Wish. I got exactly what I asked for. Harley goggles for Harley Davidson, motor protective gear glasses, motorcycle accessories and parts, helmet goggles. I mean, if they're not helmet goggles, you wouldn't have been able to tell from the first three words, right? Quality is okay, well, at least for the price. Endo, Gerard, I have not tried them out yet, but they look good from six months ago. Gerard, I hope your eyeballs are still okay because <laughs> you're leaving a review on a product you haven't tried. Sounds like you've gone blind. We're gonna get them in red. I wanna be a noticeable figure on the street. And that is 10 items. Grand total comes out to $1,144.35. You guys know what time it is. It's time to hit place order and wait. It took around three weeks for everything to get here, including the four scooters. I didn't think they were all gonna show up in time. Basically everything came in two weeks and then we were just waiting on one more electric scooter. And just like that, we have our six accessories plus the four scooters. And what we're gonna do is put these to the test. First, we're gonna start off with basically all the accessories, see how they are. Then we're gonna jump to the electric scooters, set them up, and then go outside, test them out, see what they're really about. This is gonna be a long episode, and like we do with every Wish Busters, we're gonna see if the products are a Wish or a Dish. Here we go. I am so amped for this episode. You have no idea, and this is kind of the first TechSmart video in a month. Like, in a month, way to kick it off, right? All right, so let's get into this. If you guys wanna check anything out, I'll leave links down below as best as I can. So let's jump in with the stuff that didn't make it in a box or a package. Guess what, Ev? I'm on the San Francisco Giants. Boom, boom. Oh yeah, dude. I'm one ride away from being in the Hells Angels or on an MLB team. I'm liking this. It is not time to test this out. That's coming up. I think I'm gonna have to take a dive. We're saving all ratings towards the end. Pretty nice helmet. It's got this nice perforated fabric. It seems like your head won't sweat a whole lot. It's way too early to tell how good this is. Jumping on to item two. All right, item two is in one of these mystery bags here. Oh, nice. Ripped it on the way out. This is going to be an interesting, interesting product. Wireless helmet LED brake and turn light. I saw this, you saw this. Looks like some Daft Punk stuff. But, well, okay. Wireless helmet LED brake and turn light. So we have our adhesive here, connects to all the back of your head if you're a Terminator, or the back of your helmet if you're a biker. And then this, Wiring schematic says the updated transmitter. I want to know what the first transmitter looked like. Was the wiring schematic not even on here? So what you're supposed to do is basically pair this up to the throttle on your motorcycle and using this schematic, it will communicate with the light. You know this is tech smart, not MacGyver smart. So I don't think this is gonna work with the scooter and definitely not with my skills. Okay, wow, we got a red light. There's not any other modes. I think you definitely need to have the module wired up. I I'm a fan of the four. The four is way safer than not having it at all. Let's jump on to item three. All right, item three in one of these other bags. Oh yes, this one is easy to explain. We have our Harley Davidson. goggles. Wow, that is tight against the face. I gotta adjust. Gotta adjust. Gotta adjust. That's that's what you pay for on Wish. The adjustable elastic strap. Oh yeah. Doesn't feel as bad. Ev, thumbs up, thumbs down. 
I think I gave myself a two thumbs up before I even asked you. They look that good. They don't feel um, as I was expecting. I don't, yeah, there's no shot in any world, in any planet, in any solar system that this is real leather. You got these like purpley blue lenses that really only kind of show a color when you tilt it at the right angle. They fold up, so they are pocketable. Let's do the test. All I'm saying is for item three, pair that with the light and the helmet. I think my head's pretty flossy. Item four. Item four, let's get the small stuff out of the way. You guys know what this is. If you were paying attention in the first half, we got our biker gloves in red. There's no way I could get hit by a car or hit anyone else. I am literally a rainbow. And you can see it here, Moto Sport Gear. Wow, these actually feel probably like the best thing I ever bought on Wish and that you guys have ever seen. If I can remember which hand is left and right. Oh, wow. Here we go. I'm feeling like Inside Man, if you've ever seen that movie. Getting ready. <laughs> okay, okay, you got these nice hard tip knuckle protectors, <laughs> knuckle deflectors, knuckle guards. We're going with knuckle guards. Not bad, you got these pretty tacky rubber grips so you can hold onto your bike if it's wet, rain starts to pour. So far so good on the biker gloves. I think it's still too early to tell until I fall off a scooter which I'm probably gonna have to do. All right, item five is, is, is this. Do I even need to explain it? We have our fluorescent biker jacket that I wanna say if moisture's on it, it repels, almost feels like a windbreaker. Oh, I cannot wait to get suited up. Feeling good? Let's see how the zipper is. Okay. I'm not a biker. Never been on a motorcycle before. If you can change that, hit it up on Instagram. It's just tech smart. Jacket feels pretty comfortable, it's a little tight. But what you have are these elbow pads built in. No wrist guards, I don't think that would be practical. But if that's a jacket, I need to buy it. Don't want a, a wristy Magoo part two happening. This feels good, but you guys know the rules. <laughs> item six is really by process of elimination and I think the most exciting item in the first half. This is what I think it is. Yes, yes, it's a brown box. I knew it, I knew it. Is this the scooter seat? Yes, it is. We have our scooter seat. Nice little cushion for the pushing. This is... I I'm really excited to try out this seat. If I can sit on a scooter we got from Wish and not have to buy the saddle scooter. That's everything that comes with it. Outside of just having one of the things go rolling, one of the uh, nuts here, I don't think I can mess this up. Let's hope it works. All right, now on to the exciting part. Let's jump into the scooters back there. Let's see what we got. Now on to the fun part. Let's jump into the rest of the items and pop open these scooters. Starting off with this one. That was really effective. Oh, sweet, it's the Xiaomi M365, also known as a Mi electric scooter. This is exactly, exactly what you'll see Bird using if you catch a scooter out on the street. And definitely vote up in the iCard which product is your favorite by now. And then, just the charger. Let's see what's up with the M365. So quick rundown here, charge ports on the side, blends in extremely well. Maybe because we bought it on Wish that when you open it for the first time, no, we're good, we're good. Gotta stay optimistic. 
So top speed on the M365 is 15 miles an hour. There's also an eco mode that goes 11 miles an hour. We're putting that all to the test. I'm not trusting any claims. You guys know how we do it on Wishbusters. It, it's get in the hole. Simple, so simple. Is there just, this sucks. And then, that, that was so easy. Now I see why Bird chose the Mi electric scooter. Looks really clean. It's a real sad bell there. Watch it. So the power on, really just a power button. Got a nice light. I'm, I'm escaping. Uh, <laughs> I'm escaping reality and scared to accelerate. It's one of those outdoors activities, but it works. I'm gonna kickstand it up. Got the light on me. Feeling good. First scooter was definitely a success. Let's jump on to scooter number eight. Scooter number eight, item number eight. The hardest box to cut open in a minute. That was a dangerous move. Is this the Razer? Oh yes this is! The Razer E100. Not it. So we got a manual. Our charger. And it says the top speed of the E100 goes up to 10 miles an hour with 40 minute use time. I'm done trying to take all the packaging off. Let's just pop, lock, and drop it. That, that definitely needs to be tightened. What else comes in the box? Nothing else. So just tighten these two up here to engage motor. Kick off, twist the throttle, go. Seems to be kind of a trend. Oh, we have our Allen key. We have our Allen key. Seems to be kind of a trend with electric scooters in this price range. You have to kind of kick off and then hit the throttle versus it being all electric where you hit the throttle, it just goes kind of something interesting. Let's see what... Throttle's built into the handle here. Kind of like it in purple. All right, put this thing together and let's move on. Pretty solid. Brakes, charge port at the bottom, power switch. Look at that kickstand. It's all you need. This one's gotta be, well, we only bought one other electric scooter. This is the eight inch. But whatever's cooking here is kinda interesting. We've got the charger. Same kind of charger as the Razer E100. Oh, this is sweet. On this one, the handles fold up all the way. There's three modes which control the three speeds. Six to nine miles an hour is the lowest one. Mode two is 12 to 15 miles an hour. And then the high end one, get ready for it. 18 to 20 miles an hour. So this thing could pack a punch. Remember, that's all what the manufacturer says. St this is a move. This is a move. Haven't even set the scooter up. So to set this up, you have a latch here. Okay. And then the catch. Wow. This might be better than the Mi electric scooter. Look at all your controls here. So your speedometer actually looks like a bike, maybe a mountain bike if you souped it up. And then you have three modes. You can control right there. You power it on. Boom. We're cooking. And then, let's see if this light works. Sir, have you been scooting tonight? <laughs> this is awesome. This is so sweet. And if it looks correct, this, this could just be a reflector. No, that is not just a reflector. It's a brake 
like? Wow, they got everything. Oh, we got our first scooter that is all electric. Not a pushy pushy. Awesome. The eight incher might just beat out the bird. The light, oh man. And guess what? Guess what? Didn't even need these guys. That is the kickstand. I am loving it. I'm calling this right now. This is gonna be the winner. But you guys know, we gotta wait and see. One scooter left. And finally, for the only non-electric scooter, we got the old pusher here. This takes more than a screw. This is not going to be road. You don't know who you're scooting with. Oh, I really, really was shocked that worked. I'm really excited. This is the greatest Wish Busters, I think, of all time. So let's go have some fun. Let's go figure out which scooters are Wish, which scooters are Dish. Rate them out of zero to five. Let's go outside and ride these guys. We're outside. It's finally time to maybe break a bone, but actually get on to what we got. So we're gonna start it off with what possibly could start the waterworks of sweat? Jacket's on. Loving it. Probably if they go in the pocket. My clumsiness. Okay. Wow. Are these polarized? Nope. We got the uh, San Francisco Giants batting practice helmet here. Honestly, if, if something were to happen, do I really need to tighten this? I trust myself. If I regret this, you saw it first. And then, the light. This is the most important part. Ev, is it centered? Ev, mostly. Mostly centered, we'll have to rock with it. It's a one and done adhesive. We'll say these goggles are, um, they're riding up my face. But, what does it really matter, dude? No, I can't even see. Like, it's, it's, it's a problem. Let's walk. I can't, I have to like tilt my head all the way down to see anything. The field of view with these goggles might not be the best biker goggles. Let's start off with this guy, the push scooter. Not really any point to uh, using the speedometer. And this is really the most Oliver Tree, Tanner Fox inspired scooter. Let's rock. Oh wow, this is nice. Glide is good, but scooter's also brand new, so let me ride it around. I'm having a hard time seeing. This is really the scooter that's like life. It's how fast you make it. Push scooter, wish or dish, I'm giving it a three. It's a wish. Scooter's pretty good. This is the eight inch electric scooter. We paid $300, $400 for it. This is the one I'm most excited to try because there's three modes on here and the top speed on this actually is 18 to 24 miles per hour. That's what they're quoting or ready, 30 to 40 kilometers an hour. So three modes, we even got a light doesn't do much in the sunlight, but better to be seen, and if you get in an accident, rescued, than pulling this kind of crazy stuff at night. Here we go. What's kind of cool about this is on the speedometer, you can actually see the range of the scooter, and then if we hit mode, you can see it adjust right above the battery indicator. So this is mode one. I want to be safe and let them know I'm coming! Holy cow! This is the eco mode. Okay. Okay. See the brakes? It's around 
say like three feet of stopping distance. Let's see what Mo 2's about. Mo 2. Okay. Try to break at full speed, you're only gonna get hurt. You heard? Wish or dish, this gets a five wish all day. This might be the best scooter, or so we think. The eight inch electric scooter was a banger. I don't, I don't know if this is I'm just gonna kill the vibes. Ev, you wanna give me like a kick? Wanna kick me? How often do I say that? No speedometer app for this test. What's the point? We already know this is for the kids. This is kind of fun. All right, let me see if they can go on the hill. get myself into it. It's the E100. You get the E300 up to 15 miles an hour. No speedometers in this video. It's pretty clear. Razor E100, wish or dish? I'm giving it a dish. Two W's. You can do better. I should just spend more money. I, I know the answer. Before we jump onto the Mi electric scooter, the one you've been waiting for, the one that I kind of want to sit on, we gotta talk about this jacket. It's pretty hot. If it was black, I'd be dying. I'm kind of baking a little bit, but not all that much. In terms of protection on these like elbow pads, it's really just fun. You fall, I hate to say it, you're probably gonna hurt yourself. So yellow jacket? Wish or dish? I'm giving it a three. It's a wish. It looks good. It's probably good for the local neighborhood. No more than a tricycle. If you're riding this on an electric scooter, you're probably hurting yourself. Oh, and this light too. If I knew how to actually ride a motorcycle and hook this up to the throttle, put the stick back on, we're good. Change that to a one. It's not all that bad, price wasn't that bad. Now these goggles, they're doing the job. If it wasn't so hot, maybe, maybe they would be a little comfier on the face. Giving these a two out of five, definitely a dish. There's better goggles on Wish, like sweat is starting to go into my eyes and sting. All right, do it for the team. Oh man, that's just cold. That's just real cold. Ugh. These gloves? It's probably the most biker thing in this entire video. These are getting a four out of five, and that's a wish. We have the Mi Electric Scooter with two modes. Turn it on. So check this out. In bright sunlight, middle of the day, you can see all the LEDs, and then to switch the mode, fast, normal. I'll be the judge. 
Watch out, I'm coming. This is 11 miles an hour. I believe it. Got a nice platform. Easily one hand this, one leg at two. This one just feels the most durable. Especially with that brake. That's, that's gonna stop you if a car is coming. There's a reason why Bird chose this scooter over some of the others. But now it's time to get a little spicy. I don't know about you, Ev, but it's Daytona season. Fast mode, no more eco. See that? Xiaomi Mi Electric Scooter. Wish or dish? Giving this thing a five, total wish. You get what you pay for. This is a high quality scooter that you're not gonna regret. You can trust me on that. You guys know what time it is. It is time for really the special surprise. Let's come right on over here. We're trying out the 10th item, the scooter saddle. So on Wish they were actually selling scooters for like 700 bucks with the seat. If this actually works, we need to take the goggles off to give it a fair shot. Almost looks too simple for me to mess up, but you know I love a challenge, right? So this is the screw that went flying. Thankfully, we didn't throw this one away. So, lock it in. I think I can be the laziest person I wanna be. All because of Wish. Maybe not, maybe not. So the seat is not fully installed properly. I mean, it works. You're smarter than TechSmart. I know that sounds crazy. Let's, let's see. You can take it, make sure it doesn't get stolen. That's a feature they don't tell you about. Here we go. The final moment you saw Keaton think he was gonna have a family one day. But realize. <laughs> he should probably just ride the scooters, not sit on them. Here we go. The big moment. I'm gonna give it a little bush. A little push. DIY time. This is this is what life's really about. That you thought that was it. Scooter seat, wish or dish, gets a four. Definitely a wish. I didn't think this would be that good. This entire video exceeded my expectations. Guys, 
That is gonna do it for this episode of Wishbusters Electric Scooter Edition, where we picked up the bird and lime scooters that I never thought would actually show up. If I had to pick a favorite, and you guys let me know in the comments your favorite scooter, I'm giving it to the eight inch electric powerhouse. Size doesn't matter, you'd be surprised here. Three modes, super fast, and faster than the Mi electric scooter, which I was surprised by because that's what Bird and that's what all these other companies are using. So that's gonna do it for this one. If you guys are new, make sure you get subscribed, drop a like, and let us know in the comments what you wanna see on future Wishbusters. We'll catch you guys next time. I'm coming.